praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. It's always a privilege to come your way with God's word. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking today in Jesus' name. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I'm the man that God uses and I bring you a fresh word every day on this platform. Family, you want to be a part of this um, great ministry. You want to be a part of what God is doing on this platform. We are praying every day. Um, we are releasing prophetic words every day. And this is going to greatly bless you spiritually. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Ring the notification bell so that you are the first to know when new content is uploaded. And thank you so much for all of you who already are subscribed and are part of this um, you know, awesome family. God bless you. The Lord says that this public declaration might be the cause of the attack. This public declaration might be the cause of the attack. So personally, I, I discovered that every time I say what I want to do, there is either an issue, a huddle, a challenge comes up and I, I end up not doing that thing or struggling so much to do it. As anointed as I am, I discovered that is always a thing. I mean, just sitting here today and meditating on the word of God, it dropped in my spirit that sometimes we are quick to make public statements and public declarations. We are quick to tell family, friends, loved ones a developing story. We are quick to tell people what is yet to be grounded. You see, I noticed that in building construction sites, they cover the entire site until it is ready for revealing, but especially the foundation. You can't even see through it. You can't see what they are doing. They cover it because foundation is very important. There are times when you make public declarations, bold confessions, and what the enemy does is he goes into action, goes into work to begin to try as much as possible to destroy. The Bible says that surely they shall gather. It's a certainty that they are going to gather. They're going to come against you. The Bible says they come against you in one way. It says that they shall flee in seven ways. But look at the fact that they come against you in the first place. So what does the devil use to come against you? Information. I want you to understand that Satan is not omniscience. Omniscience means that all-knowing. It's only God that is omniscience. Satan depends on information transmitted. So please, I'm sure you should have heard this before. You should have heard the Lord tell you, be careful about the bold declarations that you make. Oh, I'm going to, I am going to do this. Joseph was hated for no other reason but for the fact that he boldly declared his dreams. You must only declare the things that have already taken root. If you learn this wisdom, it will save you a life of a lifetime of pain and stress and struggle. I tell you again, I have noticed personally in my own life that every time I share something before I take steps towards executing, it doesn't work. The Lord is cautioning somebody about a bold declaration, a bold confession, a public statement. Sometimes you must outgrow the need to show people that something is happening in your life. My God, this word is hitting me in strange corners. Sometimes you personally must outgrow the need to appear before the people like, oh, something is happening in my life. And this thing is amazing. You must outgrow that need. Sometimes you must look beyond. You must look at the importance of, I mean, what God is trying to do 
what is going to happen at the end of the day rather than just people saying wow congratulations oh wow that's awesome because that's all they're going to say compliments that is not even from their heart learn maturity learn to conceal a matter my god you know there's a scripture that talks about um kings concealing a matter learn to conceal a matter until the time that is appropriate to release it i pray god gives you this wisdom in the name of jesus now i want you to do me a favor let me know in the comments what you have learned from this prophetic video can you take a minute and just type in what you have learned or your own observation let's build the comment somebody might stop on this video and be studying i mean watching on that i mean watch the video and going on the comment and see your own comment and it blesses them and if you read a comment that blesses you please give it a like let us build a communication around this video the lord bless you in jesus mighty name i love you shalom